We're in the midst of the information economy right now. And what that really refers to is the utilization of new technologies, information technologies, and information management that enhance process efficiencies, people being able to work faster, work smarter. Now this whole transformation in the economy began in the mid-1990s um, with new investment in IT, uh, faster computer processing, uh, the internet becoming a, a vehicle for e-commerce, um, email, things like that hit the way we, we shop, the way we work, uh, the way we just conduct our daily lives. The result of this has been a dramatic increase in, in productivity in the United States. Productivity levels doubled from the mid-1990s until now uh, in comparison to the previous decade, the 70s and 80s. This is largely attributed to the information economy, the incorporation of new technologies, information technologies. Now, one industry, unfortunately, that was kind of left behind, let's say, or lagged this, was the healthcare sector. Um, reason being, well, you can cite a number of, uh, of, of factors, but here are a couple. Um, number one, much of the activity in healthcare or healthcare services in, involves the utilization of charting, paper based information. Uh, if you think about it, every time you go to a doctor, um, they're asking questions, what was your last treatment, they're writing things down on charts. If you're in the hospital, nurses generally input things on charts and paper uh, records, doctors as well. What's the problem with that? Let's say you have 100 patients over a two weeks period and you have the result is a stack of charts, a, a stack of written information. How can you analyze that written information? What you have is the possibility of uh, illegible information, lost information, or just the inability to say what's in there. Well, what's happening now in the healthcare sector is the incorporation of new technologies that are digitizing this paper-based uh, resource or information resource into a uh, computerized type of information. So now, instead of writing this in the paper-based form, you're in, uh, inputting into things like uh, computer order entry systems. Uh, CPOE is a, is a common term out there. You're creating EHR, electronic health records. This is just one aspect of how information technology is transforming the efficiencies and productivity in the healthcare sector. This uh, really incorporates the realm of informatics. Okay, It's kind of a term people throw around and I like to clarify what it is. Informatics really is the utilization of information technologies and information management tactics to enhance process efficiencies. My book, Healthcare Informatics, Increasing Efficiency and Productivity, addresses many, many of the aspects of how new inf information technologies and information management is increasing efficiencies, productivities in healthcare organizations throughout the various processes. Many people don't understand how many processes there are in, in just a hospital alone. You have radiology activities, lab activities, uh, workflow activities. When you check into the ER, many times there's a lag. Well, I think we all know it. When you sit in the ER, how long does it take to actually see a doctor? A lot of paperwork to be filled out. A lot of logistical things behind the scenes. With new technologies, the processes become faster, more efficient checking people in, routing people to the right areas. Again, just another aspect of where information technologies can enhance efficiencies, productivity, and the ultimate result is reduced costs. See, that's the hot topic right now. The whole debate about healthcare reform is reducing costs in healthcare. Well, what's happening is there's a natural pulse going on right now, and it's called investment in information technologies and the utilization of informatics, informatics concepts, to increase efficiencies and productivity and reduce costs. This is already happening. The interesting part is the process is just starting. Okay, Give it some time, four or five years from now, when it becomes to maturity, uh, when, when systems are well in place, workers from nurses to doctors to administrators all embrace these new systems. When the data these new systems are producing are available for analytics, the potential efficiencies is, is dramatic and the potential re uh, cost reductions is dramatic. Now really, the ultimate result of this is it's not really a, a business performance, financial performance thing. It's giving patients the best treatment and the best outcomes as possible with the least 
cost type of applications. There are a number of inefficiencies, unproductive activities in healthcare organizations. They do a great job. U.S. residents uh, do get good health care, there's, there's no doubt. But there are, on the business and operational side, a number of, in, in, uh, of inefficiencies that exist. And this whole informatics, uh, information technology investment pulse is addressing that and will continue to address it uh, from here on. So you had the information economy in the rest of the U.S. economy. It began in the mid-1990s, and it is in dramatic effect right now. It's only 10, 15 years later, and look what's happened. Look how you conduct your, your daily activities. It's just starting now in healthcare, and the ramifications, the implications are, uh, are dramatic for, for a, just a, a much better system, more efficient, uh, better patient experience, and uh, a reduced cost environment.